How's it going everyone? It's Max Fisher here from A Better University. It's your weekend warrior series, guys. We're getting it. We're killing it. Hope you're taking advantage of this opportunity, getting after these 30 days, whatever's left of it, uh, and crushing your goals, taking that thing that was once impossible and making it a reality, because that's what it's about, guys. So we keep doing these challenges and everything, and you know maybe some people get motivated at the beginning and fall off at the end. Uh, you know, lose that drive, lose that motivation. How do you develop something that doesn't die? How do you bring it to a certain point where it's so developed that it can't be, it can't be undone? You just, you just don't care. You, whatever happens, happens. But you just keep going forward. You just keep striving forward. You don't stop. Well, the thing is, it takes a certain amount of level of understanding and effort, knowledge, and application, and and all of that guys so you have to start you have to you have to educate yourself and how it's done how other people have done it you have to go and look and strive for what other people have made possible so I've studied successful people I've studied the motivational speakers I've studied you know wealth and finance and business and um, you know determination and focus and unwavering intent I've studied all of that guys I found you know the commonalities that we all that they all possess and I, I've developed that into something that I truly believe is uh, a core quality that you need to embody and I've done that I've embodied it and how do you embody it though you you do it through work you do it through your effort you do it through your focus you embody it through thinking about it and letting it consume you immersing yourself in the community and and whatever you're trying to pursue whether it's you know whether it's you want to be uh, you know a a dance you know a dance um uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. If you want to be a musician, if you want to be a rocket scientist, if you want to be super financially successful, if you want to be in personal development, you have to immerse yourself in the community. You have to find the people who have done it before you, and you have to embody what they say, and you have to believe that what they say is is true because they've had it within their experience. So that's the thing. If you hear somebody say something, you have a choice. You have a, an ability to believe it or not believe it. But unless it's within your experience, you don't re necessarily know it's true. Um, so believing other people that have it in their experience is your next best option. And you have to take what they've learned and apply it to yourself so you can bring it within your own experience so that you can see how it fundamentally changes you, how it develops, how it manifests itself. I've been immersing myself in this community and you know what some days I don't see the daily the daily uh the daily movement forward but when I look back guys I can see it I know what I'm on the right path I I embody the things that these successful people are telling me I've embodied the things that the emotional or the motivational people are telling me I've um I know, I, I can feel it inside. I have a fundamental core belief that it, this can't be withheld from me. I'm going to get where I want to be no matter what they say because I have that in my experience. It's fundamentally at a core level no longer a question in my mind. It's just a matter of the work. It's a matter of the effort. But I have an undying determination, undying inspiration, motivation inside me that's not going to let me quit. Now, how did I develop that? Well, it wasn't easy at first, guys. It really wasn't, you know. Uh, and it still isn't. Some days I'm still questioning whether it's, uh, what am I doing? You know, is this really even possible? But it is, guys. It definitely is because that's that little bit of your comfort zone. It's your comfort zone trying to draw you back in, saying, oh, this is a little dangerous, guys. Oh, this doesn't feel right. The, bo the human body is uh, a creature of comfort. You have to break through that. Your body is a soldier. Your mind is the general. So don't let the emotions of your body affect uh you know who you want to become because it's going to try and draw you back into that comfort zone and once you develop yourself enough once you put enough effort in it changes you take full control over your body you understand that it, it has to listen to you no matter what and when you get outside of your comfort zone when you know your body's ego starts saying oh well this might not be possible or Ooh, you know this is a little too much pain for me to bear you can shut it up you can say be quiet you know this isn't I don't care what you say. I'm going after it regardless of what you want or what you what you what you think, you know? So it's part of bringing that into your experience and knowing that 
once you start a certain amount of this journey that it's it can't be withheld from you so bring that into your experience that's how you that's how you really develop this and uh, take the time to reflect and see how far you've came that's you know that's your that's your biggest landmark that's your biggest signpost of what's gonna be like hey man you're on the right path like you're gonna look back and maybe you'll see that you know if I look from when I joined the Navy to when I got out of the Navy I was almost I not even not even really that far developed I was almost exactly the same person maybe a little bit more mature maybe a little different insight because of the, you know the places I've seen and stuff but if I look from the time that I got out of the Navy to now the same amount of time the same four-year span the the difference is is crazy it's huge it's it's I brought such a different level of experience into my uh, my being that uh, there's no turning back now and that's what you guys have to try and develop at an inner core level if you want to go after and get something whether it's your you know your spiritual fulfillment whether it's your financial success whether it's your emotional peace all these things man you guys you got to take it in you got to immerse yourself in it you got to make sure that it's that it's what you truly want and that you're going after it with all you got that's part of it that's how you that's how you move forward every single day whether it feels good or not whether you're down on yourself or not whether bad things or good things happened you know you got to develop that inner core belief and it and it has to be it, it starts with learning from other people and seeing their experience and then bringing it within your own getting it getting fired up about it and when you're not fired up about it, using the discipline to push you to do what you need to do. Making that commitment that no matter what you do from this moment forward, you will stick to the word that you made and the emotional state that you made it in. That's what commitment is, guys. So be committed. Be determined. Be inspired and motivated to go after it because it's possible. Develop yourself so you have an understanding so it becomes within your experience. So you feel that inner fire, that you know that inner fire, so you can develop that inner fire that just drives you every single day. That's what you guys need if you want it. That's the only way to get it, guys. This is Max Fisher here from A Better Universe, your mind, body, spirit connection. Weekend warrior, guys. Monday, tomorrow, we're getting after it again on your mindfulness Monday we're gonna do a little meditation I think get our chi on bring us to that nice and light state I hope to see you there until then keep killing it guys